welcome to the show. I had, uh, well, first of all, let me uh, thank Gilbert for his donation. Next, uh, Michael, uh, a fellow named Michael sent me an email. Hello, Chris. Hello, Michael. Hope all is well. I have a problem and I really need your help. This new girl has started in my office. You guys know when I do that side thing. What do you think why I stopped at the word office? As you guys know, one of my worst pet peeves is guys that get crushes on girls at work. Can't a woman just go to work and earn a dollar without you guys falling in love, wanting to stick your dick in her? Can't she just make a fucking dollar? Please? As you guys know, that's one of my worst pet peeves. So let me go back to doing it again. You know, Hodge Twins have their thing. This is my thing. I was going to wait a day before I did this so I could be calm. She's from Columbia. Very sexy and curvy. About an eight or nine like I don't care. Hello there, Michael. What's okay? She's at work. Can she please, please, please just make some money without you guys crushing on her, staring at her ass she walks across the room. That shows that you're thirsty, that you're weak, that you're not actually one of my guys. Not sure how you found me, Michael, but that's what I teach here. Leave these females alone at work. Because where there's smoke, you can get fired. Go look at your company's or talk to your HR person. I'm going to tell you a story about that in a minute. She walks around the office acting like she's the center of the universe, trying to get everyone's attention. Nope, she got your attention. She certainly got your attention. You're the one sweating it so, her so bad that you wrote me about it. An email. I'm sorry this is not going the way you wanted to go, but this is one of my worst pet peeves. Now, I used to know a female. She uh, set out to you know make some money at her job. She screwed the vice president. Then went off on stress leave. Yeah, they can do that. Created drama. She got hired back at twice the salary. She's making double what the other guys and all these other perks. Yeah. She's a woman that used her head. But if she, this woman complains about you just even looking at her, if she complains about just even looking at her, wrong. She can make all kind of money. All kinds of money because of your stupidity. Just look at her boobs. Talk to her boobs. Hey, how you doing today? Oh, yeah, how you doing today? She can feel, I, I got to go out on stress leave. And your company will have to pay her. Are you listening to me? Your company will have to pay her. Then she can sue them for not providing a safe work environment. Now, I live in America. I'm assuming that you live in America. You just saw, well, fuck Trump. Um, let's go to his, his ass licker, uh, Bill O'Reilly. $13 million. All the advertisers with, it's serious business in America. Okay? I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. I wish you hadn't have. But let's go through these. How should I talk and treat her day to day in outside of office to get her attention? You shouldn't. I do know that a lot of romances do start at work, but I, I don't want to be I don't want the responsibility of you getting fired. You know, I'll give you some advice and you end up getting fired over the shit, then it's my fault. 
You come back and say, oh, no, no, I won't blame you. I'll feel bad. Just because you were stupid and weak. As I said, you're, not, you're obviously one of my guys. My guys know better than that. My guys, watch the comments below this video. My guys know better than this kind of silly shit. When there are girls, hot Colombians all over the place, go outside of your office and do it. Two, what should I do to stand out from the other guys in the office to be a higher value male? Uh, just go to work and do the best you can so that you don't get fired. Now you're going to try and posture so you get her attention. If she wanted your attention, she'll let you know. So all you're going to do is bug her. All you're going to do is stress her out. If she wanted your attention, she would let you know. Okay? So you're the one who's the creepy one that's now watching her as she walks across the room. That hot Colombian. I just wanted to notice me. Notice me. When I was on So Suave, there was a guy in Australia that was at a company party, and he posed how he's worried, he was scared shitless after a company party because he pushed one of his coworkers up against the wall, white male, pushed her up against the wall. I always get a lump in my throat. Then he, he licked her face. Brother, I'm not serious. He licked her face. <laughs> oh, God. He licked her face. I'm not Caucasian, so I don't understand it, man. It, it, it freaks me out. Oh, God. He licked her face. And he was worried about being fired. And he dropped off the forum after that. Never heard, nobody ever heard from him again. So I guess he got fired. Now, your job brings you X amount of dollars so you can pay your, your, your rent, your car note, your insurance, your cable bill so you can access the internet and send me emails, your food, your entertainment. I don't care what kind of job it is. You set an office, so think about, I know you're probably Caucasian, it's easy for you to get jobs out there, but it's still hard to replace a job, okay? It's still going to be hard for you to replace that fucking job. How should I approach you for coffee? You shouldn't. Without feeding her big ego, you leave her alone. Let her strut around. It's, 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 all, it's you, who the one who's all nut up, by the way. You're the one that's obsessed on her. She's not obsessing over you. You're the one that's running to her, wants to run to her. So badly you wrote me for advice. I guess you don't know me very well. I used to beat the table. I get so angry at you guys. I'm passionate about what I'm doing here and teaching. But no more table beating for you, you guys. I, I did it mostly for effect anyway. Uh, I know you're a very busy person, but it would mean a lot to help you out. That's why I'm helping you out right now. I'm going to give you some advice. One guy, by the way, um, there's a guy that ignored me. I gave him some advice. I said, leave the girl alone. Come here. He went to jail. Okay? He went to jail. I hope this video is recording because I forgot to plug in my special microphone. We'll see. I hope you take my advice and just leave the girl alone, okay?